is up YouTube? My name is CJ, this is CJ Knows Tech, your smart watch guru. In my uh, 45 millimeter unboxing, I had a lot of you request for me to grab the 41 millimeter, and I'm a man of the people, and I'm gonna give you guys what you want. So I spent my hard earned money, went and picked up the 41 millimeter, uh, and a lot of people say they have a similar build to me. So I'm a very slender person, as you can see. I ain't no big swole over here, you know what I mean? And on my left wrist, which is the wrist I like to wear, the most, I will be about a six inch circumference, uh, roughly. Now when it comes to the 45 millimeter, this is a big watch. It's a huge watch, packs some heft to it, and it looks humongous on the wrist, I understand. But we have the 41 millimeter, which is still low key, a pretty big watch. You know how these watches are, but they did slim down the thickness of these watches this year in comparison to last year's Galaxy watch, which is a huge plus. Shout out to Samsung and they reduced the weight by some. That's what we need out of Samsung, improving their watches, especially if these watches are gonna be used for sleep tracking. You need a watch that you can sleep in. We'll talk more about that in the review as to how I feel about sleeping in one of these watches, but as for now, we're gonna focus on the differences between these two. And honestly, the biggest difference is this has a 1.4 inch display, while this one has a 1.2 inch display. The 45 millimeter is gonna weigh in at 53.8 grams, while the 41 millimeter is gonna weigh in at 48.2 grams. So you have a weight difference between these two, as well as with these differences is gonna come a difference in battery size. Now on the 45 millimeter, we're getting a 340 milliamp battery versus a 247 milliamp battery on the 41 millimeter smartwatch size. So you guys gotta take that into consideration as well, but not only is it about the specs when you get into these two, you also have to consider the look. So I'm gonna put these on my wrist. Like I said, slender build, about a six inch circumference on the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like. Now I know a lot of you guys realize and notice that the 45 millimeter on my wrist look pretty big. <laughs> and I won't lie, cause it's a big hefty watch. And in the past, that's kinda how Samsung watches has been. But it's also like you get more in the sense of battery when you go with the bigger watch. Let's just take a look at it right here, boom, on the wrist. The 41 millimeter does look better on my wrist. I have to be 100% frank and honest about that. It does look better. Now I'm gonna put the 45 millimeter on my right wrist, the black on black 45 millimeter, which I'm gonna talk more in depth about in a second. So as you can see, boom. On my right wrist, which is not really the wrist that I would wear it on, but it's typically about the same sizing so you guys can get an idea. Yes, this does look big, a lot bigger, and it looks bulkier on my wrist because it's a big watch. And then when we go here, this actually kind of fits my size and my build better. So if you're about my size and my thinness and you want to watch that actually looks like a watch that was, you know, made for your body style, you possibly might want to lean towards the 41 millimeter. But here's something I want to consider too, color selection. On the 41 millimeter, the only option you have is either this black and regular stainless steel silver look or Mystic Bronze. Now, if those two fall into your category, ding, ding, you're good to go. On the 45 millimeter, we have a color that we lost from the S3 Frontier, which is the black on black, which is what I like. I like all black everything, baby. And that's why when I saw the black on black, I was like, oh, instantly grabbing this one. But let's be real, it's a big watch. It's the bigger watch um, and you know, honestly, I could get away rocking it because I've been rocking the Galaxy Watch and I've been rocking the Gear S3 and I can deal with it. But I'm gonna be honest, comfort wise, look wise, this is the better look for my build. But I'm losing a little bit of battery life, which I will talk about more of the battery life in an upcoming video. I'm gonna do an update to this video. I'm gaining more battery life, gaining more screen real estate over here, but it's just looking a little bit more bulkier and bigger on my wrist. I can live with that, but this looks better. I don't know, you guys, I'm conflicted. Comment down below. Either put 41 millimeter and tell me why, or put the 45 millimeter and tell me why. Which one are you getting? What size did you pick? Hopefully this video helps you pick the right Galaxy Watch for your size and your build. That's the whole point of this. You guys wanted me to help you out. I'm here for you guys. Hey, you know what I mean? I'll spin the bag. So you can make a more conscious and more informed decision when you spin your bag. I hope this 
video helped you. I got a ton more smartwatch guru. I got a lot more content coming on this. And look guys, I have the Galaxy Watch 3 versus the Galaxy Watch Original and the Gear S3 Frontier. I'm gonna put them all head to head, let you know if you should be looking to upgrade, if the improvements on this are warranting the upgrade, or if you're not really messing out on anything, I'm gonna let you know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Also, I'm gonna be doing a dedicated review to this here Galaxy Watch 3 coming really soon, as well as I'm gonna be pairing one of these Galaxy Watches to the iPhone platform. I'm gonna let you know what you get and what you don't get when you put a Samsung Galaxy Watch on an iPhone device. So much more coming. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. My name is CJ, this is CJ Knows Tech. I am your smartwatch guru, baby. I got some Note 20 content coming as soon as that comes in. But hey, man, you can hang here for the smartwatches. There's a ton more really dope. Oh, I almost forgot. I will be customizing. I will show you how to get custom watch faces as well as custom watch bands for your smartwatch so you can make it look and fit your lifestyle in the way that you want it to look, baby. Express yourself through your smartwatch. Hey, peace and love, you guys. My name is CJ. Let's go. So what did I do? Being a man of the people, the voice of the streets, you know what I mean? I'm here for you guys. So I grabbed a 41 millimeter. I'm gonna put it on my wrist. You guys get to see, this is what the 45 millimeter looks like on my wrist. Some people say it looks big. And then for some people, this would be the look that they want. I like bigger looking watches. I can have a nice, you know, watch vibes. And same thing with my uh, Apple watch. I went with the larger one. I went smaller and then I eventually went larger. So. I like the bigger watch, but as you can see, right here, so here we are, boom. But it's not so much that it's just like, oh my goodness, that's so much larger. I think it's kind of like a, a taste and a preference as far as how it appears on your wrist and also like the size of the person. I'm expecting this might actually be more ideal size wise for the majority of people that, that have a similar build like me. but. You know, I, like I said, I like the bigger, bulkier watches, but they're big regardless. That's kind of how these watches are. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Boom, yeah.